Dear learners, I am Christina Georgi, your academic counsellor. In our last session, we discussed the life and works of Thomas Hardy. So, who was Thomas Hardy? By now, I suppose you do know that Thomas Hardy was an English novelist and poet. To which era in English literature did he belong to? He belonged to the Victorian era. So, in our last session, we also studied about his realism in literature. He was a Victorian realist and he was influenced both in his novels and in his poetry by Romanticism. We also studied that he was a successful novelist. And can you name a few works by Thomas Hardy? I am referring to the successful novels by Thomas Hardy. They include works such as The Mayor of Casterbridge in the year 1886, Tess of Dubervilles in the year 1891, Jude the Obscure in the year 1895, and Far from the Madding Crowd in the year 1874 so it is said that far from the madding crowd is hardy's fourth novel and it is considered to be his most warm and sunny novel far from the madding crowd is hardy's most warm and sunny novel so most of his major novels especially those written in the later years such as Test of Dubervillis and Jude the Obscure have tragic endings. But in this particular novel, we see a very happy and meaningful ending. We'll discuss further. Before that, do you remember? This is the first novel by Thomas Hardy in which the setting of Wessex is used. Remember the fictional setting used by Thomas Hardy? Wessex. Yes. This is the very first novel in which the Wessex setting is used. About the title of this particular novel. Yes. If you look at the title, Hardy took this title from Thomas Gray's poem, Elegy written in a country churchyard. So we can mention that as well. There were a lot of adaptations based on this novel also. So that's the general introduction. I suppose you have read the novel. Have you read the novel? Okay, anyway, I'll explain. I'll give you a brief summary of this novel because without knowing the summary, you won't be able to understand the analysis part that we'll discuss today. So, this particular novel describes the life and relationships of Bathsheba Everdeen with her lonely neighbor William Boldwood, the faithful shepherd Gabriel Oak and the soldier Sergeant Troy. So, here we see a female protagonist. What do you mean by the term protagonist? Protagonist? refers to the main character, the lead character of a piece of work here. The protagonist of Thomas Yesana. Correct answer. Thank you. So, the protagonist of Thomas Hardy's Far From the Madding Crowd is Bathsheba Everdeen. And there are three other main characters also. All the three of them are men. They play the roles of suitors to Bathsheba. So they are namely William Boldwood who is Bathsheba's neighbor, Gabriel Oak who is a shepherd who comes to work in uh, Bathsheba's farm and the final person is Sergeant Troy who is a soldier. We will have a detailed look at each and every one of them while we discuss their character analysis. Let's now look at this story 
of the novel in brief so here at the very beginning of the novel we see a very beautiful and young lady her name is batsheba everdin so she is the protagonist of this novel later she meets a very young and energetic farmer a young farmer his name is gabriel oak and she saves his life one evening as a consequence gabriel oak asks batsheba to marry him but do you think she will accept the proposal no she refuses his proposal why is that so she gave the excuse that she does not love him later she inherits her uncle's prosperous farm and as a consequence she moves away to the town of weatherbury so what happens to gabriel oak he faces a disaster he has a crisis as a consequence he loses his sheep so he is forced to give up farming and he goes looking for work travel far and wide and lands himself in weatherbury so who else is there at weatherbury batsheba yes so gabriel oak rescues a local farm from fire do you know whose farm this is and he even asks the mistress if she needs a shepherd this farm belongs to batsheba and yes since he expressed his desire to work there she hires him hires him as a shepherd gradually batsheba learns to manage her farm and she becomes friends with her neighbor who's the neighbor mr bolwood so he asks whether she can marry him whom bolwood because he more or less becomes obsessed with batsheba so he ultimately becomes batsheba's second suitor who was the first suitor gabriel oak so yes thank you so he is described as very rich and handsome and it is said that he has been sought by many women but unfortunately or sadly batsheba refuses bolwood as well that is because she does not love him but then she agrees to reconsider her decision on that matter the very same night the third suitor appears do you know who the third suitor is yes surgeon troy so he is a soldier and at that point he also has a back story that is he has recently impregnated a local girl do you know the name her name is fanny brown yes she is more or less a young girl and they happen to have an affair all right but right now troy falls for batsheba do you think batsheba knows about fanny no so troy's interest in batsheba in a way triggers the feeling of anger in bolwood later troy convinces batsheba to marry him so what happened to gabriel meanwhile where is gabriel oak he has remained as a friend throughout and do you think gabriel oak approves of the marriage between bolwood and batsheba no definitely not yes so they married so the marriage takes place few weeks after this marriage that is the marriage between batsheba and bolwood troy sees fanny 
so at that time fanny is very sick later what happens is that fanny dies and by that time she gives birth to the child whose child is that child of troy and fanny later bathsheba discovers that troy is the father of fanny's child that is out of grief and shame troy runs away from that place and later as he is nowhere to be seen people think as if he is dead so now the route is clear for boldwood right so he becomes more and more empathetic about bathsheba marrying him but at that time troy sees bathsheba at a fair and he decides to return to her meanwhile out of his desire to marry bathsheba boldwood holds a christmas and for that he invites bathsheba and again proposes marriage so this time she agrees just after she has agreed troy arrives and that surprises whom bathsheba and do you think boldwood would feel great about it obviously not he took his gun and he shot boldwood so now what happened troy is killed what about boldwood he is taken to prison so who are the main characters left bathsheba and yes gabriel og so a few months later bathsheba marries gabriel who has become much more prosperous at the moment so the happy ending is that bathsheba the protagonist of this novel marries the unpretentious hero gabriel og who has been in love with her right through the narrative he was the first person to express his love towards her and this story concludes or culminates with their union so this is a conventional love story where constancy in love however unflashy and restrained gets its reward so that was the brief summary of this novel so we met all the four main characters who are the four main characters three men and the female protagonist but sheba oak boldwood and troy so there are also some minor characters in this novel namely lady smallberry she is bachebas maid and confident there is jan cogan he is the farm laborer and friend to gabriel oak there is joseph poor grass he is a shy timid farm laborer it is he who carries fanny's coffin okay then you have kenny ball is a young boy who works as oaks assistant shepherd these are the minor characters in this novel so how many female characters are there in the novel we can say three including lidi because this lidi is a minor character she is also of the same age as bathsheba okay two major character or okay we can say the only major character is bathsheba fanny can be considered as if a minor character though she has great importance in the novel there is also lidi the maid of bathsheba she is also a female i suppose okay so all the rest are male in this novel so now let's have a quick analysis on this novel how many chapters are there in this novel any idea there are 57 chapters yes correct 
So the novel's first edition was published in the year 1912 and it had 464 pages. We are studying the abridged version of the book. The first edition was published by Harper and Brothers. As we discussed, this novel is the first to be set in Thomas Hardy's fictitious countryside Wessex. We are discussing page number 97 of the BEGC 133 course book. So Wessex he locates in rural southwest England. Remember Hardy set all of his major novels in the south and southwest of England and he named the area Wessex which he described as a realistic dream country. So do you think there exists a place in the real world such as Wessex? No, it is a fictitious place. Just like Malgudi by Arkenaran like the way we discussed in our last class. Now let's discuss 